President-elect Joe Biden has officially been declared the winner of Georgia's 16 electoral votes, again. Welcome to the Economic Countdown. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. President-elect Joe Biden has officially been declared the winner of Georgia's 16 electoral votes, again. On Monday, Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger recertified the results of the November 3 election confirming Biden's win. The final results showed Biden ahead of President Donald Trump by 11,779 votes. This was the second time Georgia's top officials certified Biden's victory in the 2020 race. The Democrat was originally named the winner on November 20. At the time, Biden led by a margin of 12,670 votes, or 0.25 percent, over Trump. The president, who has tirelessly attacked state officials over their handling of the race, unsurprisingly requested a recount. Since the initial findings were within 1 percent, the state was forced to approve the appeal. The recount was the third time in the Peach State that more than 5 million ballots were counted. We have now counted legally cast ballots three times and the results have remained unchanged, Raffensperger said at a news conference on Monday morning. He added, it's time we all focus on the future and growth. I know there are people that are convinced the election was fraught with problems but the evidence, the actual evidence, the facts, tell us a different story. The Secretary of State had previously ordered a manual hand recount of all ballots cast in the presidential race in the state stating it would help build confidence in the results. The audit also upheld the original outcome of a Biden win produced by the machine tally of votes cast. While Republican state officials defend the integrity of the election, Trump and his allies have continued to spread baseless allegations that the process was riddled with fraud. He called the manual recount a joke and has filed multiple lawsuits challenging the state's results. Amid the president's unfounded allegations of fraud, election workers have reported being threatened. Last week, one Georgia official lashed out at Trump's dangerous post-election behavior. It has to stop, Gabriel Sterling, a Republican and Georgia's voting system implementation manager, said at a news conference on December 1. He called on the president to condemn the violence. Someone is going to get hurt, someone is going to get shot, someone is going to get killed, Sterling added and it's not right. Raffensperger expressed support for Sterling's statement, telling reporters that even after his office requested Trump quell the violent rhetoric being born out of his continued claims of winning the states where he obviously lost, the president kept going with his attacks. This is exactly the kind of language that is the base of a growing threat environment for election workers who are doing their jobs, he said. The former vice president has been the first Democratic candidate to win Georgia since Bill Clinton did so in 1992. The party is aiming to replicate its win next month in a pair of Senate runoff elections that will decide the upper chamber's majority power in the next Congress. So far there has been no word from the Trump campaign for a response to Georgia recertifying the results. Thank you for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.